This video is sponsored by DistroKid. That's Hunter. So let's start with the desk. This desk is definitely massive. You're talking about five feet wide and you're talking about three feet tall. So this is definitely a massive desk. If you're dealing with like a three foot desk, like a Studio Trends desk from Guitar Center, this is definitely way bigger than that. So my space here is roughly about 12 feet wide. So this fits perfectly in the center of the room, but with my sidecar, a lot of more space has been taken up. So if you're interested in this desk right off the bat, make sure that you measure your room and that you have enough space for this because this thing is massive. Okay, my honest first impressions when I sat down at the desk for the first time, I was like, yeah, this thing sits tall. Again, this sits up about like three feet. And so this second tier is probably about like a good, maybe two and a half feet. And so you're going to be having to reach a little bit higher than what you're used to. So my chair raises up pretty tall. And this is uh, the chair from Target. And I'll leave this link below, but I feel like this is the perfect dimension because my legs literally just fit under the keyboard tray, literally, like just under it. Depending on how you set this up, you might wanna go ahead and set this up at the higher tier. So we'll talk about the assembly in just a minute. So I'm roughly about like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so you can guesstimate where your legs would sit under the keyboard tray if you're about like six feet or if you're four feet, if you're just short. <laughs> This will give you an idea of how much leg space you have. So if you go to the site, defi.com, click platform, and then they have an area down here where it says, please visit this page for more specific compatibility. You can come over here. And so I went over here to what's new in the updated platform design. And if you scroll down, you'll see all of the dimensions. So working at the desk is definitely an experience for sure. I believe you will love sitting at this desk and looking at the multiple tiers and just kind of enjoying yourself and sort of feel inspired to create. This top tier, this three feet, your monitors are gonna sit pretty high, all right? They're, they're gonna sit kind of high. So what Output has done is they've added an adjustable display height uh, in this middle tier. So you can actually remove the rack units and you can adjust this so your screen can sit lower. I personally don't really care for this look, but I understand the ergonomics of it because your monitors, again, will sit pretty high. Uh, I'm looking upward for sure. Um, but another workaround for this would be go on Amazon and you can check out this. I'll leave this link below but you can get a desk mount for your monitor so that way they can sit a little bit lower. I'm definitely gonna make this investment very soon. I do love the rack mounts. Uh, what I've done is I've actually ordered some rack fillers and I got these on Sweetwater and I'll leave this linked below. But I went to Sweetwater and got a 2U. So these are all 3U mounts. So I got a 2U for this one and I got my power conditioner, another 2U and this is my headphone preamp, and then I just have a 3U that's just covering all three. If you don't wanna put anything under uh, your rack mounts, uh, then you can use these rack covers, and these just give it like a nice, sleek, sort of sexy look. Now, before we get into the keyboard tray, I gotta shout out our sponsor. Major shout out to DistroKit for sponsoring this video. DistroKit allows me to get my music on Apple Music, Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, you name it. Now recently I had two rappers rap over two of my beats without my permission or licensing agreement or anything. And so I reached out to DistroKid support and they were able to send me some really dope quick links to request the songs to be taken down. Sure enough, the songs were indeed taken down. So major shout out to DistroKid for that support. That's one of the main reasons why I love rocking with them. So check it out. You can use my link below in the description to get 7% off your first year's membership if you decide to sign up, it's available for you. Now, let's get into this keyboard tray. I like the keyboard tray to a certain extent. If you have like a lighter 61 key or like a 49 key keyboard like I have, like this is the 
M Audio uh, Key Station 49. This one, you're gonna have some moving. <laughs> It'll kind of move around on you just a little bit. But if you have a more heavier keyboard, let's say like the Launch Key 88, and you put that on here, you're not gonna get as much movement because the keyboard is a bit heavier. So you can see here with the keyboard tray all the way out, I still have some room here. I can put like a push over here. I can move the keyboard over a little bit. And what I love about this is this frees up my desk space. For my previous desk, I had my keyboard, I had my magic keyboard and mouse, and then I tried to fit like my stream deck over here. So with this main area, I have way more leverage. And so speaking of that, I do love the fact that I have the cable management. The cable management is over on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, and then three in the back on the top tiers. I do wanna bring up the colors. So on the website, if we come over here, and by the way, if you're planning on getting one at the time of shooting this video, the only color that's available right now is the Driftwood Gray. Kodiak Brown is not available, and the Natural is not available. But let's go over to the Driftwood Gray. So here's what it looks like online, and then here's what it looks like in person. So you can kind of see like my cameras are sort of picking up a little bit of the gray, um, but in person, you actually see more of the wood, the natural kind of wood sort of poke through a little bit more than you would the gray. Okay, so when you get the desk, when it comes in, here's what you get. You get this assembly guide and you can scan it and then you can look it up online and print it. Now, I actually had an issue with the platform guide. On the PDF, it didn't separate the pages. It just basically had one PDF page and I couldn't print it out. So I had to basically use my laptop. One person can put together this desk, but I will say it's not for the faint. Like you, it would be ideal for you to have help um, for someone to help you assemble this because this thing, again, it's massive. So the sidecar, let's start with the assembly on that since we're on this topic. It's not as simple. You get the same thing, you get the scan kind of card and you scan it online. Now the PDF for the sidecar was a lot better. We could print that out that had the individual pages. You have all kinds of different options because I got the one with the rack mount and the shelves. So we actually had to improvise and drill in our own hole because the slide out tray bracket or the brace that allows the mechanism to come in and out, the holes weren't really aligned that well and we kind of got stuck on that. However, besides that, uh, I do love the sidecar a lot. This perfectly holds up my X32 producer and I was very strategic about getting this desk and the sidecar because I knew I wanted to put my X32 on the sidecar. I didn't want the X32 on the desk or on a TV tray like I had before. And I have all this shelf space for miscellaneous things and headphones or whatever. There is cable management as well on the sidecar too, so you have that option as well. And I do love like this door here where you can store stuff in here and close the doors. So with the shipment on the sidecar, sort of a no bueno situation. I got some nicks on my sidecar. FedEx actually somehow or another accidentally opened the box. Now this is the reality of today's shipping. So I do want you guys to be aware of that. So I'm definitely gonna send the pictures in to output and be like, hey, yo, can you guys send me two replacement pieces because it got damaged in shipping? So if we go on the site here, and let's go to platform and let's go to buy now. It is not the same price that it used to be. It is now $10.99 and I believe before it was like $5.99. Keep that in mind as well, you're gonna be spending some money. So all in I believe I spent like $2,147. What I recommend this for someone. If you have the means 
for a desk like this and a sidecar, go for it, do it. Because this furniture is very sleek, it's very modern looking. Make sure that it's right for you in your room. So guys, I would highly recommend you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on bell notifications only if you got value from this video. And if you're interested in more videos with me making beats on the desk and kind of showcasing it in real time, get subscribed for that. Other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next video. I'll see you real soon. Peace.